the fan, that's what they call me. Hello, welcome back to GD Collection 76. I'm back with another exciting, very exciting video. Today I'm going to be testing out these Artify markers and these are off of Amazon. I forget how much. And I think this is the 80 pack. They come in this nice black case and I think there are 80 of them and we are going to test it out today. So I'm going to be coloring this drawing using the Artify markers. And I'm actually kind of nervous because I did swatch out the colors already. And this is what some of the colors look like. And they really do bleed through the paper. And these are all of them. But there are some pretty colors. So I'm not all that worried about it. But there's nothing on the back side. But so that it doesn't bleed onto this paper. I put a piece of cardboard underneath. So make sure that it's there. Okay, I'll start with the drawing. Like I said, these are... A I think the 80 pack uh, marker and they do have a colorless blender but so far I'm not really liking the colorless blender but it does have a brush in it which is like super soft when you apply it to paper and it has a chisel but all of these do have a uh, chisel and a fine tip so here is the chisel tip and they have a fine tip Now I'm going to use the markers and color this drawing. What I am actually kind of scared about is if they will, like, smudge the pencil. So, that's the one thing I'm scared about. But let's go on with coloring. So what I'm first going to do is take this color here. It's called... Mm, Barely beige, I guess, and it's number 29 as you guys can see. And I'm going to use it to color in her skin. Something that I did most with these markers was the fact that they are not like they're not really splotchy, they're not streaky at all. And that's the good thing about these markers. <laughs> but something that I can do with the colorless blender is like use them for blush and stuff like i can use them for blushing but like for smaller spaces but for bigger spaces with blending i can't because it just won't work out like with like a light with like one color like this and then a darker version of this would like really work and now i'm gonna just do her legs like the weirdest legs that I've ever drawn in my life. <laughs> but they're supposed to be legs. So as you can see, no uh, splotchiness at all, but it did bleed through. But no splotchiness. So now what we're gonna do is we're gonna start us uh, oh i forgot about her ears hold on i need to get 29 again I need to do her ears okay now we can start with the blending which i wanted to do with her face so i've chosen to take number 36 and put like just like a blotch here and then a blotch here and then maybe one like on her nose and then quickly take the brush end and then just like blend it out that's like really uh it that this thing is good for because if you guys look closely i'll zoom in a minute if you look closely it's like very like our camera looks like whoa but as you guys can see, it is like very, very no. So, like from the distance, it looks oh, that's like me. That's good, but no. If you get these artify markers, that is something that's gonna happen. So, I prefer you guys not use the blending tool. But if you don't really care about it, then you should be totally fine. Now I wanted to give her like a transparent looking uh, one. So what I wanted to do first was get 29 and then as you can still see her legs. 
I've got a color in her legs. Oh my gosh, I do okay, this is sweet. I thought this was something totally different, but then like it kind of dried up, so. Okie dokie. Alrighty. So I'm gonna do this color right here. This is number 144. Look for it. Okay, got it right here. And I'm going to use this to go over this to make it look transparent. That was like definitely a bad idea because as you can see, it may have that little crayon texture that I don't like, but it still looks kind of cool. Like, eh, it's, it's okay. I'm using number 66. I'm going to color in her top. Really, I think I have like two minutes left. Okay, and then what I'm going to do is I'm going to use a bunch of different pastel colors. So we've got 59, we've got 313, um, 67, I'm not really sure about 67, let's take a little look, uh, yes, 67, pastel pink, uh, no, 196, really good one. Nine, seven, like all these are like very little, like they're very bright looking, but they're like super duper pastel. And those are the ones that I'm trying to go for. Take all these and color in her flowers on the top. Using a fine tip for this. And there we go. For her hair, I was thinking of doing number 59. I'm gonna go in with this and do her hair. Immediately saw that this was too light, I mean too dark, so I went in with a uh, 313. And then with 67, I'm gonna color in her wings. Got a few seconds left. And then with the tall peak, I'm going to color in her ears. I'm going to use 196 eyes. And here's the finished drawing.